Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 14. So, go, getting right into it, one thing I was reminded about in just the first couple minutes of this episode is why I love this series so much. And I got a little of it in the first chapter, and and I got a little of it in the, fir in the first episode, which is how much importance is actually put on the strategic planning and rising action of, of Attack on Titan. So, 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 so pretty much when we when we much, when we end up reaching the point of the holy shit epic fight scenes, the the base the it's it's basically because we we've we've gotten all that strategic planning and that rising action previously that that, that it that, that the fight scenes end up feeling end up pretty much feeling all the more deserved and rewarding when, when, when they finally happen like it, it 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 is honestly in a lot of ways i i definitely got to give the mangaka the manga uh, the mangaka credit he, he's he, uh, of, of his, the mangaka credit that he, he's managed to find a, a really winning formula with, with basically attack on titan of of strategic planning and rising action and just building it up and when he finally does reach that point of giving us holy shit action fight scenes it really a lot of times it really pays off like it, it just it really just it it because because there's just been, there, there's been there's been all this build up to, to it previously where it's like holy shit that was epic as fuck so yeah um and <clears throat> And and especially and, and especially I really felt that in this episode when when you pretty much see every, when you see that everyone has that expression of whole of when when, when we see when we see like this survey core pretty much pretty much use pretty much use pr, 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 when we see the server core, when we see the server core, you, 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 you using pretty much the you, 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 using 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 pretty much the, the pretty much thunder spheres for the for the first time on the um on on the armor titan and just and seeing their and seeing their expressions for, for for the first time of holy shit the thunder spears actually work and the and and the realization afterwards that that they can and the wide-eyed realization they have of holy shit that they pretty much actually have the ability in, in order to in order to defeat in order, in order to defeat reiner now like just just kind of just kind of seeing those like th th that in itself is just is is like a, a perfect perfect example of, of of this whole formula working like it if it, it felt earned like j just kind of seeing seeing the reactions of the, yeah the thunder spears work is like yeah th this was something that was earned because of it um <clears throat> i one thing i appreciate one other thing I appreciate with, 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 with within pretty much these these two elements of, of the of the strategic planning and the rising action too is that we, we, we it it didn't shy away from, from pretty much plot development as well because with because with, pretty much within because with, with, pretty much within like all the strategic planning that we that we see the that we see the survey corps doing it, or specifically Irwin in this case. Um, Erwin does make special note of that, of that load-carrying titan early on in the episode, and, yeah, let's just say there is a reason for that, like, uh, like, yeah, yeah, trust me, tr yeah, trust me, he is, as weird as it sounds, that that load-carrying titan is gonna be an important, in, is gonna be an important key point of the, of not only this, not only this arc, but of the, of, of the story, too. Where is it is, um, but I've probably already given too much away by saying that. Um, <clears throat> with that said, uh, one thing I think that this episode really did well at is exploring the complexities of Erwin's character because in this episode we pretty much learn he's that that everything that Erwin has done up to this point has really just been grandstanding and it means to continuously try and implant the idea in his head. That he's doing all the all this for for, for for pretty much the sake of humanity and 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 in order to and, and in order to, and in order to in order to, in order to, in order to make sure that that humanity survives against the titans, but 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 be, but at the core at the core of who Erwin is as a character, he could never really fight that basic instinct that he's that he's really doing that the only reason he's really doing all this. Is for his own self-interest and and pretty much for his his pretty much own own pretty much survival. So, in in that sense, you could say that Erwin is without a doubt a major hypocrite. Like every like he's basically told everyone in order to fight and survive against the Titans, but really he 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 he, he doesn't even believe in, in any of the crap he was spewing up to this point. Anything he was talking about up to this point, but 
it's one of those things where even if he is a hypocrite, you can't really blame him either because it's just human nature. It's just human nature, and the and the and and the fact that 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 learning of and the fact that that that, that, that and the fact that that Irwin even even learned about what's about the basement itself, he will. And and really, when it comes to the basement, um, the, the 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 little fact of learning what what's in the what's the, the the little fact of learning that the basement will will help humanity is is really just a happy coincidence to him. Like he 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 only cares uh, about pretty much what what exactly is in the basement. He doesn't care about whether or not. It helps humanity, honestly. Like it, it in in this specific instance, it, it's really just a, a mere coincidence that that what that what's in the basement is going to help humanity. But he, 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 he even if it di didn't help humanity, he he, he he pretty much didn't he, he pretty much wouldn't even even care. Like he just wants to learn what's in the basement. So yeah, and Irwin is definitely is definitely one of the is definitely a very interesting character for sure. Um. And and with this episode, we also get an explanation of on how exactly on on how on how how, how runners survive getting pierced through the neck. Which I'll be honest, even I forgot the, the whole thing with the transferring his brains his brain functions. But I feel the one thing we can definitely glean from this reveal is not is it that it not only gives us more insight into in, 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 into the Titans into the, into, the, into the whole makeup of of Titan shifters. But it also tells us the the makeup and ability, even even the abilities of Titan Shifters. But it also tells us just how much more experienced the, the Reiner actually is compared to Aaron. So as as well as as well as how strong Aaron could be if if Aaron actually trained more with his Titan powers. Like Aaron in this like Aaron in this episode. Don't get me wrong. Aaron in this episode, he was actually amazing. And just seeing him just just do simple things like pretty much hardening his his fists in order. Let, 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 hardening his fist like like he was using brass knuckles that 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 pretty much shit was epic but 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 that, but that's where all that is, is really just pretty much on the surface level of, of what Aaron's of what Aaron's possible of what Aaron's whole um of what Aaron's of what Aaron's potential is so yeah it it, it just just from seeing what what Reiner can do as, as a titan shifter it really just kind of says imagine what what Aaron can do if he learned to do this stuff too um but even, however, however, despite this, however, despite this key advantage that 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 a runner seems to have of of more experience, um, the the survey corps, the survey corps plan as a whole, it did manage to expose his one fatal flaw, which is how, which is how, which is, which is how how much Reiner overthinks things and, and how meticulous he is, like. But by playing off, but by but by playing off like like Reiner's weakness of overthinking things and and how meticulous he can be, and diverting his attention, the, what the survey corps did is they managed to corner him, and just just flat out corner him into a situation where he he couldn't escape, and <sighs> looking back on this material as well, one thing I really appreciate, uh, one thing I really appreciate uh, in, in terms of this whole setup with, with Reiner with Reiner fighting Aaron and the survey corps, is how. In a lot of ways, it mirrors it, it, it mirrors the first real fight that that Aaron had with that that Aaron had with with Reiner in season two, except a reversal in terms of who has the greater advantage now. When 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 again we, we basically see we, we basically see the, the, the we, we we see Reiner being basically cornered and overtaken, but 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 by pretty much the Survey Corps and just the Survey Corps attacking him relentlessly with, with the Thunder Spears. Like it really is it, it really is like a complete reversal of what happened in season two. Like we're 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 basically Aaron Aaron had the advantage for, for basically a time, but 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 then but then Bertolt showed up and and then and then they. And then and then and then they they pretty much got the advantage over Aaron, but in this case, it's a reversal that they pretty much managed. But but by, by just doing a, a, a few certain things differently, they managed to really just gain the advantage over over Reiner this time around, and I, I love it. Um, now we now as for, now to finish off, one thing I do gotta say is is that we is, is that we got is that we covered a lot of content in this episode. I. I think it was three chapters last time I checked, and not only was it all perfectly paced, but it does make me realize we might also be going a little bit beyond this arc, because I am slowly starting to remember th this material more and more, and yeah, if, if, you can, if you can believe it, we're, we're basically already close to the actual 
to 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 basically the, the to 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 the Grinch, the, the Grinch actual reveal of what's of what's in the basement and how significant the basement is to the plot of the of the story itself. Like I, I'm not even joking. We we basically only, after this chap after this episode we've only got like eight more eight more chapters worth of content to cover before we we've only got eight more chapters worth of content in order to cover before we before before we pretty much get to the actual basement. So yeah, we. We, I, I think we're, we're probably going to end up going a little into the next arc as well, which I'm fine with because, as because because believe it or not, as someone who's who's still like reading the manga, the, the next two arcs in the the next two arcs in in Tag on Titan are definitely the longest. Like they they, they pretty much are long. With, although it doesn't it doesn't surprise me either because the the next two arcs are are really supposedly like like like, like pretty much the last like. like 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 it's it, the last next two arcs are gonna be the, the last ones of the series. So, uh, I I I imagine that it, that that pretty much depending on how season three ends. Uh, I think season four is probably gonna be the last season of Attack on Titan, or or it might extend into just a season five. But yeah, like it's kind of scary that that they're already kind of reaching that point in just in general with Attack on Titan of it being the end, honestly. But, um, yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, comment on Twitter, Facebook, and Illustrator Crunchyroll. That's Night of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.